All right, so now I got you through the whole story of how I came to wanting to build this app and app software. I, I, I Again, I have not. What I want to do is I want to throw this whole idea, this whole project, the whole story and project that I just kind of recanted to you. I want to throw it into startup philosophy and I want to throw it into customer development and um, kind of a lean agile process to figure out exactly what I need to pull out of that. A lot of big words there. So let me repeat that. I want to take that story that I told you and I want to break that story into what my what the problems are. I want to figure out who I am, who, what type of customer, who would buy that other than just me if there's a market for it. And I want to take that problem and that customer and I want to ask them surveys, questions, and interviews to figure out if there's a match there. Does this customer, who I would suppose would want to buy this, actually want to purchase or pay for or spend time on this project this project or that I have in mind that's what I'm that's customer development and I want to do that in a fashion that takes like a month four you know maybe four months ah four weeks sorry to develop which is a lean process okay um, I want to throw in there um, because of course there are tools that kind of do this but I want to throw in there and get a, a, a process that gives will give me better understanding of the pain points and the problems. So if somebody says, hey, I just want to change my life, and now I have some tools and I understand and I know that um, we need to ask some questions and figure out exactly where you are on that change, what that change looks like, and how, how we might get there in, in, in an organized fashion. So that's the process that I mentioned of uh, design thinking. We'll be using some design thinking in this whole process. So that's that's gonna be that's gonna be recanted in this blog too. So I'm gonna use that full gamut of kind of creative uh, project marketing development, and I'm gonna put that on top of all the other reading that I've done, and I'm gonna spit out a system that helps you to uh, manage success. That's what the end goal is. Is how do you manage your striving for success? Um, I break that management success into productivity, um, how do you use your time, and then behavior uh, management, which is what actions do you do. So how do you use your time to be most efficient with the correct actions? And I don't have a name for it. I, I think I'm, I'm, right now it's just called suck less, sucks less or success. But um, this is going to be a system that helps you do those two things. Manage your time, pro product, uh, manage your productivity by manager, managing your time, doing the most if, uh, efficient activities or actions, which is behavior design. So that, that's it. I, that needs to be in like a five word tagline and that's, a, that's an action item here. But I can walk you through the process right now. So the, the, big, the big keys to this app is motivation and accountability. So since this is kind of a tool, it, it could take you forever to change your life. I've decided that the way this system is going to work is somebody comes in and they sign up for the app. They're going to they're gonna commit to, to 12 weeks of the program. So they come in and they can, they can subscribe or pay for a 12-week commitment to the program. That, that payment will give them support and motivation, access to the inter interface and tools, and um, that's it, right? So the big key and the big pullback is uh, depending on the first, the results of the first interview or the first survey that they take when they say what, like, what their values are and we figure out how they want to change their life. There's three different tracks, tracks that they can go through to use this app uh, or this, this software. Um, and all of them are built on game techniques or game techniques that I'm learning from this guy named uh, Yukai Choi. And they will allow you to continue to motivate yourself throughout the 12-week commitment. After your 12-week commitment is over, you can then recommit. 
But the 12 week commitment is just a key part of framing this into something that's it's 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 long enough to build a habit, but it's not forever. Because ultimately, I've kind of learned when you you're going to be doing value stuff, either it's going to kind of catch or you're going to kind of lose interest. So that's, that's why I said 12 weeks. And if you're wondering where the 12 weeks came from, I kind of based it upon around school, around elementary school. We had 12 week semesters. So I kind of feel like if you could learn this method in 12 weeks, I mean, something in school in 12 weeks, then you can kind of get this method in 12 weeks. So you pay for a subscription that's a 12 week, a 12 week commitment to uh, this program to get your goals accomplished. Okay, so that's that's the basics of it. That's what you pay for, and that's what you get. Um, what the what the what the program actually offers you is these pre-made uh, goal recipes. So I've got them in like packs of three or four. It's like a three or four pack that lead up to uh, some of the most common goals that we've seen. You can create your own goals, or you can create your own behavior packs um, that help you to reach those goals. And I have tools to help you make your own uh, behavior packs. Those kind of this that can, can, idea kind of was inspired by the whole wish list bucket list app. Um, so these these behavior packs, once you once you accomplish, once you once you work on them for the 12 weeks, you'll you'll check in every day and you will uh, see your progress based upon whether or not you uh, what choices that you made on those behavior packs. And so I will go through the interface on the next time, well, at least what I have for the interface right now, I'm building an MVP in worksheets. Um, and then I'm going to start actually seeing or testing these worksheets after I've put myself through the personal, uh, through a personal test uh, of, the, of this success um, program that I have right now. And, and then I'll kind of log, the blog will kind of go in that direction of watching me for 12 weeks work on one or two of my, uh, of my key uh, bucket list uh, wishes. So, um, I'll kind of talk myself around in a circle. Of course, I'll edit this out, but so to start the program again, you'll need to figure, we need to figure out what your, what your, uh, what your main objective is, which we'll do through value selection or if you want to come in and just say, hey, this is what I want to accomplish. Either way, you can do it, you know, accomplishment, goal-oriented, or we can actually do the whole values-oriented um, process, which is the one that I would recommend. Then once we figured out what your objective is, we'll work on deconstructing and chunking. And that's where the program actually kind of comes in. Because deconstructing and chunking is something I think people sometimes are very challenged with. It's, it's, a, it's not a very hard thing to do, but... Um, I found some really easy ways to deconstruct and chunk a goal or a big elephant and chop it into pieces. Okay, so then after we chunked it and deco we decomposed that big goal, we're gonna work on habit loops that we can do in order to reach those those little chunks. We're gonna pound those habit loops every day, and after 12 weeks, we will be able to measure the progress that we've made on that goal. That's simply that's the process. Um, for me, the big obstacles are going to be what type of interface would people work on and work in regularly to, to accomplish this. And then also, because it still sounds kind of broad, I mean, productivity is something that's kind of hot right now. Um, I, I'm going to still do some more research on the market, but productivity and, and action is still kind of broad. I'm just trying to figure out how do I narrow the niche down, the first starting audience down to, to working on specific goals. Like how do I narrow this market down? So those are my biggest risk factors. Um, and what I'll be doing uh, first is working on those two risk, risk, risk factors and uh, seeing if I can get those accomplished. All right. So somebody's calling me right now. Um, the next episode, I will be showing you the test, uh, a test of the interface, and we will then start the blog of the first 12-week session. I'll be doing user narratives on these vlog segments. 
uh, to kind of tell you how my first 12 weeks, I actually started a 12 week session, I think five weeks ago. It's a fitness session. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll kind of use this, use this as a platform to report out how the program is working on that session. All right, till next time. Good job, Rodney. <laughs>